All right, I got my morning cup of Linux here. And let's get ready to start another wonderful day in the Linux world, hey? All right, first, uh, I had a request for this. This is uh, iQnix. And this is a nice little lightweight Ubuntu-based distribution for those of you minimalists out there. It's based on 11.04. And uh, this will uh, let you have a nice small system that you can build on top of. Before I go into uh, this review here, uh, I had some requests for the Icar OS desktop. Unfortunately, I was not able to get it to work in my virtual machine. I even tried downloading it a few times. I double-checked the MD5 sums, and it just did not want to behave. I hate it when that happens. And then, of course, if any of you are using Deepin, and you were able to get that working in English, please tell me how you did it. Uh, I'm downloading another copy again, and I'm hoping that I've got an English copy, because when I press the F keys on the boot screen, I couldn't find anything that resembled English, and those squiggly characters are really hard to read. Oh, my. My viewers had a request for this, and we are looking at iQnix. We. We as in me. I'm looking at iQnix. You'll be looking at it later after I upload the video. <laughs> okay, pardon the warped humor, but the morning coffee hasn't kicked in just yet. I just woke up, and it's uh, 5.30 in the morning here, and, uh, well, still half asleep. But at any rate, here it is. Now, this distribution weighs in at 489 megs, and so it doesn't really have a whole lot to it. But this is a good distribution for all of you GNOME 2 fans out there who might want to run Compiz and that sort of thing. And this is a small enough desktop that you can build on top of it. Starting at the lower left portion of the screen, you have an icon here that will hide and show all windows. I mean, uh, that'll hide all the windows on the desktop. Just show the desktop here. Okay. Uh, you have four desktops to choose from and a wastebasket here. Whoops. Got to be careful of them wandering mice. Okay, you get a power control here. And then you have a status box here where you can set away available, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you also have an, uh, an email link here, a volume control, uh, your network connections, and then, of course, you have your, um, your power. And, of course, I didn't have the laptop plugged in all day, so I'm charging still. You have a uh, launcher here that you can configure and set to whatever web browser you want. That's normally what it is, but... Um, this didn't come with anything. There's no bloat to this, so a lot of you guys might actually like that. Your standard links to your uh, preferences and administration are located here. A uh, quick, uh, quick launch to all of your places that you would go to. And then let's go into your applications and see what you get with this. You get a uh, help terminal and text editor. Let's open up the terminal here, and you will see that this is using an older kernel on this. We are running 2.6.38-8 generic. That, as I, if I didn't mention it before, this is based off of Ubuntu 11.04. So this will work on common hardware that is in use today. But if you're running bleeding edge hardware, this probably is a distribution you might want to skip over because the uh, because you know the newer kernel has better driver support. All right, and uh, moving right along in internet, you get Epiphany web browser and Evolution email. In Office, you get Evolution mail and calendar. Really, nothing fancy here. So pretty much, you're just going to download a distribution like this, install it, and then put whatever applications you want on top of it. Not too shabby. You get a simple movie player and a sound recorder, and then in system tools, you get 
two-click update in BleachBit. Now, BleachBit is a magnificent piece of software for keeping your Linux system clean. I run this all the time myself, and you'll see that I went and I checked a few things here. Basically, uh, what this will do is um, it will clean cache out of your system, so it'll detect what software you have installed. And uh, it's pretty intelligent in terms of doing its cleaning for you. Uh, now, the only thing I want to note is if you do click the free disk space item here, this is actually going to zero right all of your free space and that sort of thing. Very good if you have critical data that, um, you know, if you, and you want to shred your documents on your hard drive and that sort of thing. This is a good option for that. I also run this in root as well. So I run it as standard user in root, that sort of thing. All right, so all in all, this does look like a good distribution. The Ubuntu Software Center, really nothing too fancy to brag about there. It's the 1104 Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, the, the newer uh, Ubuntu Software Center has uh, some uh, better features and enhancements on it and that sort of thing but you can still find all the software you're pretty much looking for all right well that's all i have on this distribution thanks uh for the person who uh, recommended iqnix to me um would i use this probably not i built my own arch system but this is great if you're new to linux you want something minimal that you can build on top of this would be a good choice for you if you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to send me a private message. I'll try my best to answer your questions the best that I can. And if I don't know the answer, I'll at least try to point you in the right direction. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.